I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. Right now we're speaking with Major Michael Noche, who is one of two Teachers of the Year for the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Major, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so you're in uniform. Tell us about what you do and where you, where you work. Well, uh, uh, first I, uh, I'm a major, a retired major in the United States Air Force, and I work at Highlands High School uh, under Twin Rivers Unified School District, and I teach the AFJRTC program at Highlands High School. So for those not familiar, explain what all that involves, the curriculum and what that program is all about. Well, the, the big charge for uh, AFJRTC is develop citizens of character dedicated to serving the nation and community. So that's the big picture vision that uh, AFJRTC has for every single high school that has that kind of program. So that's, with that, uh, there is a curriculum that we that we uh, proctor, it's four years, and uh, you could have everything from, from uh, exploring space, to history of aviation, to survival, and uh, that's one part of it, that's the aerospace science side, and then the leadership management, uh, you can learn everything from how to fill out a, a resume, how to fill out a college application, those type of things, uh, leadership management, drill and ceremonies, so all those things are part of the junior RTC curriculum. So it's pretty wide ranging. It's not just uh, anything from the military aspect. It's it's a wide number of things: the job skills and and all of that. That's correct. It's it's a uh, it's a program that kind of encompasses. There is the military part of it, but there in, but then there's also that part of it that will make you uh, successful in the in the job community if you choose to uh, use those skills. It could make you successful in that arena as well. Explain what some of those transferable skills are. Well, one, one thing is uh, in junior ROTC, if you do three years in junior ROTC, that's transferable to, uh, to, uh, to grade promotion in the military. So instead of coming in as an E1, you come in as an E3 if you've done three years of junior ROTC. Uh, some of the other things is like if, learning how to fill out a resume and, and uh, learn how to apply for a college. Obviously, those, for obvious reasons, those are also uh, transferable in that situation if you use those skills and or want to apply for college or apply for a job then you would be able to use those skills for uh, for those situations. So what are some of the advantages for a student to, to get involved in an ROTC program? Well I think it's probably one of the best elective programs that you can take because it encompasses so much. Um, there's the drill and ceremonies part but then you can also be in a, in a basketball tournament, uh, a volleyball tournament, you can go to encampment for a few days and have like a mini boot camp and uh, learn how to how life is when you're living on an actual military installation for a few days. Hmm. Or uh, we, uh, there's also drill competitions. So it has everything from drill competitions to sporting events. Uh, we even launched model rockets last year hmm. uh, and uh, the, the kids loved it. They built their own rockets and they launched their rockets last school year. So. It's a great program uh, if you want to do a little bit of everything. It's a great elective program. Is it a big time investment for those students who participate, time outside the classroom? It, it is because uh, most of those events fall on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So a typical junior RTC teacher in Northern California, you're probably going to do eight to ten Saturdays. And you're talking probably about six to eight hours because you're, you're there, you get, gather all the kids and you meet in the classroom and then you then you trans you do transportation to that event and then you do the event and then you, you take them back to Highlands so it's it's a pretty much an all-day affair which which is normally uh, tied into Saturdays and then the kids invest more time because if it's a basketball game for example then they would coordinate the practices leading up to the actual tournament so why do you do it why are you, why are you involved in, in teaching ROTC well for me um, I love teaching. I mean, teaching is something that I just always fell into teaching, even in my military career. It's just something, no matter what I did, I just ended up in the classroom. So uh, my last military job was an adjunct professor at Sac State, taught uh, AFRTC there for uh, uh, soon-to-be second lieutenants. And I liked it so much, I wanted to continue doing it. So fortunately, uh, uh, Twin Rivers hired me, and I'm able to continue just enjoying what I love to do is, is uh, teaching students. Yeah, what's that like working with young people? Well, it's it takes a lot of time, but it, but uh, it's it's very rewarding um, to, to build those relationships with those students. Mm -hmm. And I think 
meeting the students and building those relationships to me seem uh, more memorable than actually the actual content in the classroom, the, the relationships with the students I'll remember for a lifetime. What are some of the challenges you face? Uh, you teach something very unique. Uh, what are some of the specific challenges you face in, in with working with students every day? Well, the, the, the main, one of the main challenges is really is classroom management, to, to manage the different, uh, the different behaviors, the different learning abilities, um, uh, the different personalities. So that, I think, it, it seems like most teachers are, they're getting, if they're getting paid anything, they're getting paid to do that more than teaching the content. Because to manage the different behaviors, mm -hmm. I think that's the most challenging part of teaching in general. And what about as far as, I mean, RTC is not on every, at every campus, so it's pretty rare. Well, it's, there's qu actually quite a few uh, junior RTC uh, units in Northern California, um, they're, they're, and it's growing. Uh, we, 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 have, we just picked up one at Cordova High School, and there's River City College in West Sac, and there's actually a line of high schools that wanted an AFJ RTC program that have an application and to start a program at their school. So there's actually a, a, long, a long line for, for uh, s high schools to establish an Air Force Junior RTC program. So there's a real process for a school to go through to qualify for that? Yes, they have to apply and there's a whole process that happens with that and then if everything is approved then, then they end up having an AFJ RTC program at their, at their high school. So what does it mean for you to be named as a Teacher of the Year for your school district? Well, for me, it's, it's something I didn't expect. It's, it's very humbling because um, I've always had so much respect for the core subject teachers that teach English, math, uh, social studies, and science. Um, and I think that they're, they're what education is all about because they're, 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 giving the, they're giving the kids an opportunity to succeed in life. So I'm very humbled to be being an electives teacher, I'm very humbled to, uh, to be the Teacher of the Year for Twin Rivers, and it's, it's, it's quite an honor, and uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm blown away by the honor. So, obviously you teach something very different on campus. Do you talk to the other teachers and exchange ideas? Do they ask you for advice? Do you ask them for advice in working with students? Oh, absolutely. We always talk about a lot of common students that we have. That's always in the, in the teacher meetings and get-togethers, you know, the students that are doing well, the students that, who are not doing well. Mm -hmm. So we talk about that, but uh, we also talk about things that we do for the students, like uh, a few years back our choir teacher wanted to know where we did our, where we dry cleaned our uniforms. <laughs> and, we, and we gave them the, uh, the, our dry cleaner and, and, and we're able to share that as well. So there's a lot of sharing of information because ultimately everything we do is for student achievement and if us working together as teachers to make that happen, that's, that, that's, uh, that's the ultimate. So what do you do to motivate students if, if you find some that are kind of struggling? Well, as far as motivation, um, it's, uh, well, you, would, you would hope that getting a good grade in RTC is motivation enough, but that's not, uh, that's not always, always the case. So uh, with some of the lessons that we teach, we just hope that they internalize the, the values of becoming a, a great citizen of this country and the values of, of, of leadership, um, followership, teamwork, team building, self-motivation, confidence, discipline. We hope that that's enough that a student in an RTC program would, uh, would be motivated to do that. But it, it's not always the case, but we hope that some of the intrinsic rewards of being an RTC would be enough to get them uh, motivated and stay motivated. And, and what do you do to motivate a student who's considering joining the ROTC? Well, uh, if they if they want to join, uh, the, one of the, really one of the uh, key things is: Are you going to get a haircut? <laughs> and are you going to wear the uniform? If you're going to do those two things, you're 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 almost you're 75, 80 percent there. And the rest of it, we just mentor through discipline and uh, uh, teaching about leadership and discipline and and those type of things that come along with a military unit and uh, junior RTC and help them be better citizens. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, and congratulations to you. We've been speaking with Major Michael Noche, who is one of two Teachers of the Year for the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Thanks Thank for you, joining sir. us. Thanks, sir. It's been a pleasure.